felt like they were being bullied and harassed every time they came to school. A former teacher tells 10 News that a prestigious charter school downtown has been harassing gay, lesbian, and transgender students. Well, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live outside the E3 Civic High School. And Steve, you actually tried to get inside that school this afternoon. I did talk to them through the intercom over there about an hour and a half ago, but summer classes had already been dismissed. These are strong allegations from that former teacher denied by phone just minutes ago in a conversation with the executive director. Valerie Stewart said she lost her job at E3 Civic High School in June. Her contract was not renewed. And she blames it on a relationship with the executive director, Dr. Helen Griffith. Dr. Griffith made my life at school incredibly unpleasant. She said it began about a year ago. It initially started when students wanted to put together a GSA club, a Gay Straight Alliance club. She said they were initially told no, but after contacting the ACLU, they were allowed to form the group but with restrictions. We could not use the word gay. We could not discuss gender identity. We could not discuss homosexuality. She said the atmosphere at E3 was oppressive. Our students, especially our two transgendered students, felt like they were being bullied and harassed every time they came to school. E3 is a charter school. It is not governed by San Diego Unified. Stewart said several other teachers have also been let go and at least one student is transferred and she's in financial trouble. I can't pay my rent this month and I'm overdrawn and I don't have a job. Now Dr. Griffith in a phone conversation just moments ago said the club is on campus. It was sponsored by the school to attend the Harvey Milk Breakfast. At 7 o'clock we'll talk about what she says about uh, training and facilities that are now on campus. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 years.